when the announcement was made that the country was likely to go under lockdown, Business Botswana proceeded to set up a response team. And the intention of setting up that response team was to be in a position to advise and guide government on what needed to be done in order not to disrupt or disadvantage businesses in the way the process was going to be rolled out. The task team that we set together, which we really called a, a response team, sat down and put together some points, some recommendations you know, to government, amongst which were a recommendation that when we go into lockdown, businesses should be given a couple of days to prepare for the phase down. And I am happy to say our government, being a good government that we've worked with, you know, all these years, agreed, they acceded to our request. And we were given just under 72 hours uh, to prepare for the lockdown. During the lockdown period, there were a series of meetings that were held by the presidential task team in which Business Botswana had representation and our representatives were able to share with the task team on what obtains on the ground as the lockdown process was unfolding. Uh, we, were, we were able to give feedback to our members as to what needed to be done in order to comply with the requirements of the lockdown. The Business Botswana response team was meeting on a regular basis to update our representative in the task team uh, on what to, to provide in terms of suggestions, ideas and recommendations. And I should say, in a, in a lot of instances, these issues were taken on board and they were shedding light and they were assisting in shaping how the lockdown uh, would, would, would roll out. In turn, when government was making announcements on what needed to be done, how it was supposed to be done, we always were receiving those notifications which we would then share with our members. Yes, there were several challenges in the process. Uh, as somebody said, we had to think on our feet. We had to think, you know, while we were in the meetings, we had to think while we were rolling out or disseminating information. But somehow we, 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 we prevailed. We met with different ministries, different sectors, to share sectoral ideas and suggestions on how enterprises uh, in those sectors should be managed, you know, during the lockdown period, what needed to be taken into consideration. We sat down as Business Botswana and proposed a list of what we, we, we believed were essential service providers, which we shared with government and that in, in a lot of ways was taken on board. And I should say we were working through most of the time with the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry, who were our link. And of course, with the Ministry of Employment, Labor, Productivity and Skills, Skills Development, uh, you know, to deal with tripartite issues. Statements were issued to, to the public, to the you know, business community and to workers, which we were party to. And I should say through and through, uh, we were engaged, we were involved. As much as we may have come up with a long wish list of so many things, one would understand the decisions that were taken were taking into consideration certain things that the health authorities were looking at. We would not win all, 
but we didn't lose all. Uh, private sector was represented, private sector participated, and we continue to participate even today. The Business Botswana President sits in the Presidential Task Force and continuously engages with the sector leaders to give feedback to the Presidential Task Force on what private sector is experiencing as we now being at a stage of easing out you know, the lockdown. Other, other activities have been taking place which we are party to. Like right now, you know, in the middle of this uh, lockdown period, we are having to, you know, we had to start discussions around the Citizen Economic Empowerment Law. And I should say Business Botswana has called on its members, on the private sector, to submit suggestions, ideas, and, you know, thoughts on how the Citizen Economic Empowerment should unfold and we are compiling those to submit to government. Um, all is not lost. The COVID-19 has exposed that there are opportunities that people need to uh, exploit. And I would call on business, I would call on aspiring enterprises, I would call on individual Botswana to look at opportunities that they can derive following the COVID-19. COVID-19 has taught us something. COVID-19 has actually exposed us. COVID-19 has shown that there are a lot of deficiencies. As much as the pandemic itself is not anything anybody would have wanted to happen, which people would say is the bad side of this period. There are good things that came out of it. And as I said, the deficiencies that have been exposed, that which we thought was impossible, we suddenly discover that it can, it can be done. What we used to take for granted, we suddenly are discovering that, hey, We've got to stand up on our own and build our own capacity and stop relying on, on, on external you know, sources. Business opportunities are you know, in tons. And the business opportunities that have been exposed by the, with the COVID-19 are not just on the supply of you know, personal pro protective equipment. It's on the manufacturing of those. Business opportunities that have been, have been exposed are on the agro-industry side, food processing is another area that we need to be looking at. If you look what we kept importing, which we could have been making on our own, uh, is an area which aspiring entrepreneurs should look at. We need a new private sector that will bring in new businesses that we otherwise have not been doing in the, in, the, in the country. You know, those new businesses or that new private sector should come in and create employment, you know, out of the opportunities that have come out, you know, of the COVID-19. And I would like to encourage everybody to look at this positively. Uh, things will not go bad forever. There comes a time when the brighter end, you know, emerges and we progress. I hope after COVID-19, we will emerge a stronger nation, a stronger economy, a more entrepreneur, entrepreneurial uh, you know, nation. And I hope those with the resources to support enterprises will also be flexible and rearrange or reconfigure their support to accommodate those new asp aspiring entrepreneurs going forward. Business Botswana commits to carrying its mandate and to further engaging with its members and the private sector to do even more than what we're doing now. And we will continue to engage government 
as one voice. And for that, I would want to encourage those businesses that are not members to come forward and become members of this organization and let's strengthen it to deliver on its mandate uh, in a more robust manner. Let's not sit on the fence and hope that somebody will do it for you. It is us as business people who can do it for ourselves by using the entity that you established, which is Business Botswana, to coordinate, to initiate, to manage you know, activities around creating a business environment that is friendly to all. Thank you.